So, for those of you who may know, Anthony Joshua, he's a British boxer. And basically, he had a fight on Saturday and it was a rematch with a Ukrainian boxer. I can't remember his name, so I'm not even going to try to say the guy's name because I don't want to be butchering anybody's name out here. And so they had a rematch. In this rematch, Anthony Joshua lost again. And it was just really, really interesting. I, I didn't watch the match. I didn't watch it and it's funny because I didn't even know it was on usually like big matches like this there's always such a hype around it but yet again it was really really interesting how this time around there maybe there was hype for those who are into like boxing like that but for me I just felt like oh okay he's fighting today wow okay I didn't even know but I saw on social media and usually when it's like fight night people always kind of like put it on like their social media channels and stuff like that and so the match happened anthony joshua lost and his reaction was really really interesting and i think quite a lot of people spoke about his reaction he was he was really 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 mad he was really 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 upset and he really let it be known and that day i mean um looking at the reaction video i was just watching that video oh this is so bright and i was watching it with my husband and i was just like oh throughout the whole video when i was seeing his reaction and how he was behaving i just kept saying just calm down 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 like keep it together don't do this like oh he's acting childish like oh my gosh you know there's there's no need for it that's not necessary because there was a part where he took all his belts that he had lost and i don't know if he if he took it out of the guy's hand like the other boxer who he was fighting with i don't know if he took it out of his hands guys i know that this is really mad basically my makeup is running out I'm about to um, upgrade my makeup. So I said to myself, I'm not buying any makeup until what I've got is finished. So yeah, so, but it's not as bright as it looks. So I know I'm looking really mad right now, but it's not as bright as it looks, but just bear with me. It will all come together, okay? And I'm no makeup artist, so don't try to come for me, okay? And he took the belts out. I don't know if it was out of the guy's hands, and then he just kind of like he was they were in the ring he put it up showed it to people and he threw it on the floor and then he walked past the guy so it was a bit like oh that's a big disrespect and then he left the ring he went we they people started booing him he came back to the ring he took the mic and he just started telling his story basically he was all up in his feelings and he was late he was really letting us know how he was feeling but even just before that it was interesting because when they had announced who had won like he he was cool and calm at first but then after all of a sudden he just started getting mad he started getting up in the other guy's face the other guy was trying to calm him down and stuff but he went to the other guy's face and he was just like oh I've got skills, I've got this, I've got that. Like, how can you beat me? How can you beat me? And so fast forward when he left the ring and then he came back, he took the mic, started talking about his life, you know, that he was out here in the streets, he's been to prison. He just basically going off on one. When I was there watching it, I was just like, oh no, he's being childish. He shouldn't be behaving like this. What is he doing? Like Anthony, Anthony just, just just keep it together. Just keep it together. Just keep it together. Just keep calm. Like, you know, don't react like this. But the more I was watching and the more I was looking at him and the more I was just trying to analyze the situation, the more I was just looking at it, I was just like, I really, really feel it for him. I don't condone his behavior but to be quite honest there's nothing for me to condone or not condone do you know what i mean 
but it was just like i get it obviously not to the degree that he does obviously not to the the degree that any other sportsman does or boxes any other boxes obviously not to that degree but i was just like i understand his reaction because here's a guy who has trained day in day out spent time away from his family loved ones had to live a life of discipline like he gave his heart and soul and mind sh literally shed blood sweat and tears to be able to come and fight and he loses again he loses again it was like wow okay it's like i could understand like wow yeah like i mean if it was me i'll be mad as well the pain the hurt and just feeling bad about yourself and all of that and um i watched the press conference and even in the press conference that's when i felt it for him even more like when they asked him the question about how he's feeling after the match and stuff like that and he just broke down and he was just like how he's just upset and he started crying and that was such a vulnerable moment i really wanted him to win whenever he's fighting i'm always rooting for him i think just like many other people and i say basically i'm saying all of this to say like in this world well actually before i get to that like i was saying it's like i understand his frustration i understand the pain i understand the hurt I understand you know the disappointment that he may even have in himself and just all of that because like I said you spent so long days nights and nobody's there with you you know people pay their tickets to come and see a fight and just see a performance even if it was like six round 12 rounds whatever it may be and what happens there in that ring it's only like maybe one percent or ten percent of the bigger picture he'd lost all his titles everything and i remember seeing him and then there was a point where he literally just screamed and then whilst me and my husband watching we were also you know giving our putting in our two pence and stuff and just giving our comments and my husband said something that was very very interesting and he said how he really hopes and pray that after all of this, Anthony Joshua won't go into a bad state, won't go into a bad mental state. In this world and in this life that we are living, it is so important for everyone and for us to know our worth outside of our achievements, outside of our wars, outside of our accolades and all of these things. Because these things are just futile, like they're just fickle they could crumble today and the next day. And in this UK that we are living in, we know that the British press will literally elevate someone, make someone be loved by anyone and everyone, including their enemies, including their haters, and love them out of, against their own will and against their own choice. They'll put you up here on a pedestal. But then the same way that they rise you up to here, is the same way that those same people that same media will pull you down and drag you through the mud when anthony joshua was winning everything was going well everyone was rising for him everyone was for him but this time around he lost even i'll say it was even heartbreaking to see that this man here he is this young man here he is in a press conference literally being vulnerable breaking down and crying and even just before that when he was reacting and he was overreacting whatever you want to say i don't even want to say overreacting because i get it we're not in his shoes only he knows how he feels and close people around him know and understand how he feels but yet it's those same people who now started to use his vulnerable moments to make memes to make fun out of him come on do better i don't i don't look at things like that and take it as entertainment because it's not and i don't even find it funny 
and there were just so so many memes and that's the media for you that's the internet for you there was just so many memes making fun of him and all of that and this is a this is a point in time where the guy's being vulnerable he's showing his pain he's showing his hurt yes we can say well he's a professional boxer you win some you lose some he should know better he should know better how to act but if it was you how would you feel maybe some of us the way he reacted that was possibly just child's play maybe some of us out here we possibly would have reacted 10 times worse than that and it's not until maybe a person now you know starts going off the radars or until a person literally ends their lives that that's when everybody wants to now start talking about oh mental health matters you know mental health is real and stuff like that but you know you in one way or another kind of participated to it because another person who actually went through that was Tyson Fury another boxer he had, you know, there was a time when everything that the media had to say about him was just negative. Everything was just negative, negative, negative. And the guy fell into a very dark place. And there was no one there for him. Well, obviously his family stuff, but I'm just talking about like the media and stuff. Like, he suffered mental health issues and stuff like that. He came out and was very open about it, was vulnerable about it. And he said how, like, he, he was able to get through it because of his Lord Jesus Christ and obviously his family around him and stuff like that. And it just goes to show everybody wants to be with those who are riding high. When you're riding high, everybody wants to be with you. But when you're down in those trenches, when you're down in the mud, nobody wants to be there. People even be on the sideline laughing at you. And... I also like Tyson Fury. He he's a brother in Christ. You know, he's, he's one of those people you either love him or you hate him. I quite like him because he's a brother in Christ and he's very open and real and upfront with his faith and doesn't filter anything about that. And it's you know it's beautiful to see because we all know how lately to be a Christian and to be talking about Christ and even seeing God and Jesus. It's becoming an issue but he doesn't care and I yeah he proper professes his faith and I love that about him I actually really 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 love that about him and I pray he continues and he never changes he doesn't seem like he'll ever change about that anyway so that's actually really good so in this life that we live in find your worth get to know who you are and love yourself for who you are and if you're still struggling with your identity and who you are you don't know get to go get to know god and god who created you will show you who you are he will let it be known to you it's good it's nice if you're awarded because obviously with the wars it's just a recognition of the hard work that you've done and the good work that you've done but i'm just saying don't let all these titles define you and because you know your worth, at the same time, even though people may come to try and laugh at you, people will try and come and make fun of you. People will now, whilst you're now in such a vulnerable state, people will try to use your vulnerability and your low points to make memes and laugh at you and criticize you. It may hurt. Fair enough. You can be in your feeling. It may hurt, but it will not break you. Because life is tough, man life is really 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 tough and life can really you know if you're not strong life can really 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 break you down and it's not everyone who may seem to be for you that is actually for you there's some people they're just for you when you're up there's some people who are just for you when everything is going well it's just people you know some people out here who are literally chasing clout Let's just say it how it is. So when you're at the top, that's when they want to be around you. That's when they want to sing your praises. And that's when they want to talk good about you. Just so that you can see. And hopefully, you know, I don't know if they do it. So you can give them 10% of your earnings or whatever. But yeah, and it's just sad to see. You were created by the good God creator. 
who made who made you fearfully and wonderfully and so is find your work in things that are that is truth and that is can help you to be well rooted you know what i mean i'm not wearing foundation because it's just too hot and so yeah and also i'm just doing my makeup for the purpose of this video because i really wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me to talk about this so you who's watching me right now let this be a message to you you are worthy you are worthy to be here you are worthy to be alive you are worthy to be loved you are worthy to be appreciated not because of what you have not because of your title not because of your position not because of your status not because of any of that you are worthy because you have been created by a wonderful amazing great god and when he created you he looked at you and he said what i created is good an encouragement to you, an encouragement to anyone out there who may be feeling the same, who may relate to this. No matter what, you still have purpose. There's still a meaning to your life. There's still a reason for why you are here. And I just want to say, you will be okay. You will get there. You will make it. And if you're somebody, and if you're somebody who struggles in knowing your self-worth and finding your identity, I will say take time out to find out more about, to, you know, find your identity. And I'm a Christian, like I always say, and I'm always going to encourage you to find your identity in Christ. Because God is the one who made you. He created you. And he's the manufacturer, you're the product. Like Miles Monroe always used to say. He's a manufacturer, you're the product, and only the manufacturer knows his product better than anyone else. Really wanted to encourage you on that. Really hope that you are encouraged. I know this video was a little bit over the, all over the place, but what's more important is the message that I was trying to get across really and truly. With everything that I've just said right now, What's your views? What's your opinion? Please let me know down in the description box. Description box, you know. Please let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Keep it respectful though. You may not be the richest person. You may not be the most, you know, skilled person or highly educated person you may not be the greatest sportsman or whatever it may be but you are still worthy you are still very much worthy so yes guys makeup is all done like i said i just really wanted to come on here to just really just talk talk about this topic and just wanted to encourage you again look after yourself you are worthy you are amazing you are worth so much more than titles and all those things and you know there's a reason for you to be here you have purpose and don't let anything change that and so i really really hope that you've enjoyed this video i really hope that with everything that i've said and shared it could be an encouragement to you comment down below let's keep the conversation flowing and if you did enjoy this video please you know like share and subscribe and have a wonderful day night evening dawn wherever you are in the world and i'll catch you on my next video all right bye guys